So for a while now I've been wondering, what's really the difference between a normal filament like this one and a carbon fiber infused filament like this one? Many modern printers like this X1C from Bamboo Labs or for example the K1C from Creality really highlight their ability to print carbon fiber filaments. But despite having both of those printers, I don't think I ever really printed with carbon fiber filaments. So this made me wonder, am I missing out? What even are the benefits of carbon fiber filaments and when should I use them? And I decided to explore those questions and then share all my findings with you in this video. So first I want to talk about the effects of printing with carbon fiber in general. Later in the video we're going to talk about how this affects different base filaments that you're combining it with, but now let's just talk about the general benefits. One of the main upsides is increased stiffness, meaning you will have a more stiff and also more rigid part when adding carbon fibers. This is the reason why most engineering grade filaments use this as you can make extra strong products with this but carbon fibers can also make printing easier. Adding them leads to better dimensional accuracy when printing. This means that you will have less thermal expansion and contraction so you'll have less warping while printing and also your parts will be more accurate after printing but in general the main point is that it makes some really hard to print filaments easier to print which is really helpful. One thing that can be a nice upside or just a byproduct is that you get a really nice matte surface finish. Carbon fiber infused filaments have this really nice and special look to them which could be exactly what you want or you just don't care about the looks. But also there are things that you should really be aware of. One point is that it increases the brittleness of filaments. This means that some of the filaments can crack under stress more easily. Here it is really important which base filament you're using and how that reacts normally and then how that's going to be changed by adding carbon fibers. I'm going to go more in depth in that in the later parts of this video where I talk about that but just keep it in mind for now. The other thing is that carbon fibers can slightly reduce layer adhesion. With the proper slicer settings and also with a well-made filament this is usually no problem but definitely it can affect this. Also, of course, there can be downsides to printing with carbon fiber infused filament. One big thing is obviously the cost. I would say that carbon fiber infused filaments are generally a good amount more expensive. This could be like 50% more expensive up to like really expensive when you get to the engineering grade stuff. The second downside is the abrasiveness. All these little carbon fiber filaments really like rub against parts in your printer and can damage that over time. So you definitely do need a hardened steel nozzle and extruder gears and stuff like that to even keep printing it reliably. But no matter how well your gear goes over time you will definitely have a lot more wear and tear using these kinds of filaments. And lastly with all of these little carbon fiber particles there are safety considerations. During printing but mostly during processing like sanding a lot of these little particles can be released into the air and you really shouldn't be breathing them in. So when handling these use extra precautions. You might wear gloves while handling these or also make sure that you always have a window open so you have good air ventilation. Also once you're trying to sand something like this be sure to wear a mask so you're not breathing any of that indirectly. And I know that to some people this might definitely sound like overkill but actually just handling these parts a couple of times it felt like I had a tiny splinter in my hand. Actually after washing my hands it was usually gone but you know I think it's better to be safe than sorry with this kind of stuff. Also I can really recommend this video on this topic for a deep dive so I'll link that up there. But now let's talk about how carbon fiber affects different filaments specifically. So the first one here is normal PLA versus carbon fiber PLA. As I said before the carbon fibers do make the filament more stiff. The problem is that PLA is already very stiff so it can become brittle here. So that means when you're putting a load on it it won't really bend but just snap clean through and that is usually not what you want. Since PLA is also usually very easy to print stuff like the better dimensional accuracy and less warping aren't really things you need with PLA. Honestly, although it's a little bit sad, the biggest upside of PLA carbon fiber is that it looks good. You get this really nice matte looking finish that honestly is just really cool. That's about the biggest change though. Just adding carbon fibers does not make PLA an engineering grade filament. So just know what you're getting when you're getting it. There's definitely a place for it and it's still fairly cheap. So if you're just going for that nice look definitely go for it. But don't go expecting too much in terms of the super enhanced qualities that all that carbon fiber gives it. 
At this point, I also want to give a quick shout out to Bamboo Lab. They actually supplied me with all these filaments for the video to test and compare and give you all these insights. I really like the filaments. Honestly, whenever I use these in my printers, everything works flawlessly. So especially when you have a Bamboo Lab printer already, all the settings are dialed in. And to me, it's just a no brainer because it's just one less thing to kind of figure out work around. Just throw these in, the NFC chips get scanned and everything just works perfectly all the time. And that's something that I really love about Bamboo Lab. So if you need some filament, check the link in the description down below, buy it with my affiliate link. I really appreciate it. And yeah, but now let's get back to the next filament. The next thing on the list is PTG carbon fiber. And honestly, this is the stuff where it starts getting interesting. Here you're also getting increased stiffness, but since PLA is a little more flexible to begin with, it actually makes the filament stiffer in a good way and it doesn't become brittle at all. Also, the reduced warping while printing and better dimensional accuracy leads to easier and better prints in the end. So this is really where you're getting the double whammy and it does start to make sense. Also, you're getting less stringing issues with PTG CF. In general, I would say that this is a really good middle ground. This is definitely well suited for functional parts that need a little bit more strength, but not engineering grade stuff. But as a trader for that, it's a lot more cost effective than the nylon CF that we're getting to in a little bit. And also it makes the filament easier to print. So you're pretty much winning in every regard here, which is really nice and it doesn't cost too much. And now we're getting to the interesting stuff, which is carbon fiber infused nylon. So these are definitely the top of the line filaments if you want to make engineering grade stuff. The carbon fiber greatly increases the strength and stiffness of the nylon, which makes it even better than it usually is. Also, the nylon maintains its toughness. That means it's really, really strong without becoming overly brittle or anything. And next to these effects, making the end product so much better and also helps a lot while printing. The end result is more thermally resistant, but also the filament absorbs less water. You should definitely still dry this kind of filament before using and maybe even directly print from a filament dryer. But it's already getting a lot better. And as with all the other filaments I talked about, you're also getting better dimensional accuracy and less warping, which is really important for nylon because it's typically very hard to print and it gets a lot better once you're using the carbon fiber variant. The biggest downside with this is that it's still really hard to print. You definitely need a good printer and a really good environment to print this properly and also the really high price. This little spool of 750 grams here cost 140 euros. So yeah, it's definitely something that you're going to use for special or industrial use cases and not for your little fun print that you're doing, you know, because you want to. So overall, I think great benefits can be had by printing with carbon fiber filaments. The main thing is you have to see whether it's worth it for the thing you're using it for. So while you can of course get really great materials, it also comes at a big cost, such as the really abrasive material, much bigger requirements for your printer and everything around that, and then especially of course the price. So for me personally, I would say that PLA CF is kind of a gimmick. I mean, it looks really nice, so that's definitely something you can use it for if you want to. Then PTG CF is something that might actually use more and more in the future if I need parts that are a little bit more rigid and generally like better quality to take some of those forces. But also something like the PPA CF, which is honestly really impressive as a filament. I mean, the quality is just amazing. I don't see myself using it that often just for the price. I don't need that structural things usually. So I think if you're like doing something industrial or whatever professionally, then this is where this comes in handy. But for most hobbyists, it probably isn't needed. So definitely make sure that you know what you actually need, what your needs are, and if you need to spend the money. So I really hope this video was helpful for you and gave you a better understanding why and when to use carbon fiber filaments. If it's something you need or if it's something you don't need. And if you've now decided that carbon fiber filaments is something that you want and need, then check out the description down below where I have a link to the Bamboo Lab store. There you can get all those super nice carbon fiber filaments or even something like the X1 that I used to print all of these. So thank you so much if you're using that link. The support really means a lot to me. So now if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to try to help with everything that I can. And if you're not done watching cool YouTube videos yet, 
you might want to check out this video here where I talk about the 11 tools that really help me most with my 3D printing and really make my life easier. It's a really cool video and if there's one or two tools in there that you didn't know yet, it might actually make a really nice difference. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.